Hey guys, it's Bub here, and in this video we're taking a look at the first public release of Windows 10, Windows 10 Build 10 240. This was the actual release of Windows 10, which came out on July 29th, 2015, and we're going to be comparing it to current Windows 10, which would be 22H2, and seeing how Windows has really evolved. So we're going to boot from the actual installer DVD. And I believe that this VM has easy install turned on, so we're not going to get to walk through the out-of-box experience. Um, but I can talk about that for a little bit. So basically, if you know Windows 10 currently, it has that kind of black border around a blue, um, a blue user interface. Back then, the blue was the entire screen, and I can honestly kind of relate the 10 240s out-of-box experience. I can kind of relate it to Windows 8 in a way. It reminds me a lot of that. But anyways, that's beyond the point. We're going to get straight into this. We're going to see um, the installer. We're going to run through that because easy installs on. We're not going to be able to see the out-of-box experience. But then we'll get into the OS itself, and we'll start seeing some real changes from today all the way back to 2015. Uh, now, just some things to keep in mind while we take a look at this operating system. This was Microsoft's attempt at redemption after Windows 8.1. As you all recall, I'm pretty sure. Windows 8.1 was pretty much a colossal disaster for Microsoft because not everyone liked the Metro UI. They felt like it was a regression from Windows 7, which was arguably perfect. So, Windows 10 was trying to be their saving grace. That's why they offered it for free upgrades, so they can try and, you know, fix what they messed up with Windows 8. Ultimately, it worked. Whether that working was by force or not is beyond my question. I believe it was mostly by force because when they killed off support for Windows 7, they didn't want to go to Windows 8, so they went to Windows 10. So we're just going to click Partition 1. Again, look at this installer. hasn't changed since Windows 8 at all. So we're going to let this install, and then we'll be back in the desktop. And here we are in the desktop of Windows 10 10 240, the first build. I actually had this on my laptop when it came out, so I do have a lot of memories with this build. First things first, the desktop wallpaper just brings back a lot of memories just from those original builds of Windows 10 and all the videos and the hype that they, you know, built for this. Fun fact, this background actually is not computer generated. This is a real image that they used lasers and smoke and a whole bunch of stuff to get. So that's, I, I found that out a few days ago, actually. So this is a real image in the background. Moving on, let's take a look at the taskbar. So we don't get that blur effect. I don't know what it's called. I don't, I really don't know what it's called in Windows 10 anymore. Um, it's more like a transparent, just like solid with a transparency. Um, pretty bland, to be honest with you. Uh, no Cortana in the taskbar. Search the web in Windows. Um, that's changed. I don't remember what it says now. Uh, edge, the old Edge. We have the old Microsoft Store logo, as well as you know your system tray, typical stuff. Oh, that looks so much different too. Wow, you see that little blur effect in the background, um, and the text it just doesn't look refined in OS settings. We're gonna look at that. Uh, volume really didn't change much. This is the Action Center, which, if we remember, is now over here on the right of the time. Um, we can see here Action Center. Just the text. You'll notice this. The text looks so off-brand in a way. Like, these things just don't look like they should be there. This really does look like a beta of Windows 10. Now we can get into the Start menu, which I believe has changed two or three times over the course of Windows 10's history. So clicking here, we can see, wow. So on the left side, this is where we typically see our list of all apps, but on this build we have get started, like most used and recently added, uh, and the also of course file explorer, settings, power, whatever, whatever, whatever. See that looks so bad. But we click on all apps, and that's how we get to all apps, which it just looks so weird. And then of course we have our pin, default pin stuff like calendar, Xbox, blah 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 blah. Two categories, Life at a Glance and Play and Explore. Um, a lot more stuff is pinned here than it is on Windows 10 today. Going to search, this is where Cortana resides, obviously. Um, I think we need a Microsoft account to use that. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm curious to see. Look at that. It actually pulls stuff up instead of trying to search the web for it. I feel like this search works a lot better than the one that's currently seen. Going in the multi-desktop mode, we can see new desktops are down there. 
um, which is how it looked up into up until like 2020, when I believe I believe don't quote me on this that the desktops moved to the top. No, I lied. So they are still in the bottom, and I believe in 2020 they added that Microsoft Activity History when you clicked on that button. So let's take a look at some pre-installed apps, including Microsoft Edge, which was I want to say Project Spartan. I remember it when it was in its stages. So I just want to see. So I remember this very well. I was so excited about this. It didn't really turn out to be all that, um, but this was my favorite feature: was the pen, the pens. You'd be able to circle stuff, highlight stuff, you know, all kinds of fun stuff. I thought this was such a great, a revolutionary, groundbreaking thing, but I never used it. And I actually used Chrome up until 2019 or 2018 when I switched to Chromium Edge. And I don't regret it at all. Chromium Edge is the best. The spacing, it just looks so weird compared to what we have today. I really forgot at this, but what I am noticing is that it is very smooth like it's running great it's running a lot like windows 8 because windows 8 it ran great on very low powered systems and this does too it's very surprising in a way to see how windows 10 has went so resource intensive the one thing that i do want to look at is the settings app because we saw it earlier and just just look at this this is like an embarrassment to all uis ever we have settings a search bar which does this even work Okay, that does work, but it looks like garbage. Um, and then we just have eight squares in the middle of the screen. And then we just have nine squares in the middle of the screen. That looks terrible, to be honest with you. But let's click into one, and we can see that it takes us into like the sub-menu, where we can see all of our settings on this side, uh, as well as a header, which just says system in this instance. And it just looks so horrible like compared to what we have today it looks terrible i hate it i hate it i hate it wow i mean this it's so like not watered down but it's so different from current day windows so again we can see windows 10 build 10 240 before you know 1909 1809 any version numbers came out i don't think microsoft really knew what they were what they were planning when this happened so that's why they didn't say, hey, this is version 1507, which I think this is what this is actually called. It's just they didn't report it in the actual system itself. But uh, yeah, this was pretty much a very brief overview of Windows 10. And look at all these default backgrounds. This brings back some real memories. Uh, that was a very brief preview of Windows 10 build 10 240. Um, amazing history that we have here in this operating system. And it's fun to see how far it came, uh, especially into the Windows 11 days. And so with that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe if you're new around here as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. And that being said, see you all in the next one.